My name is Jeremy Fullerton. I'm the brand manager for uh, baseball, I'm heading up the flagship brand, um, all things product development. As a brand manager, can you describe the product mission and the broad goals when developing the Series 1 product? Sure. You know, Series 1 heads up our flagship brand. It is the one constant thing that Topps has been doing in sports cards for 71 years now. So it's putting together that whole product from soup to nuts. Who is going to be featured in it? Which themes are we going to touch on? And how can we improve upon each iteration? This year, we really wanted to celebrate the 2021 season, its current stars, as well as really highlight some of the new young talent that has come into the MLB within the last couple of years. It's a huge, you know, important task of who's going to be on the cover of Series 1 Baseball. It's going to be the first thing people see going into stores. It should also reflect the current state of baseball. Pulling double duty, Otani is card number one. He is also the cover athlete, featured as both a pitcher and a batter. So it's something really cool. Everything about Otani is exciting, right? Like every at bat, every time he pitches, you're gonna wanna see. And so hopefully you see him on the box and you're gonna wanna get those cards, his cards in the product too. It really kind of reflects baseball and that's what top series one really should do. Yeah, it's exciting, you know, we're getting to the finish line. There's nervous energy of hoping everything goes smoothly. The printers run smoothly. Everybody gets the cards that they're looking for out of the packs. And the initial feedback from the design, everybody, most people are excited about the design, excited about Wander Franco cards. That's really kind of the story of 2022 Series 1, right? It's that first rookie card of Wander Franco. So it's a lot of nervous energy, excitement, planning for the big event, and then seeing the rollout of people's responses on social media, on blogs, on message boards, and at card shows, just, you know, seeing what they think. Creating that flagship design is really important um, because every year it needs to look unique. It needs to look completely separate, but also the other side of the coin is it needs to look like a flagship design. And what is that? I don't know if I could really put that into words. It's more something like people will think when they see that card, 2022. I'm John Dolden. I'm the senior art director at the Topps Company. I, I was thinking about it and I thought, how do you summarize 70 years? And one thing I thought about was going back to the beginning, Cyberger on a kitchen table in Brooklyn, trying to figure out what the first 1952 Topps design was gonna look like. In my own opinion, I feel like it was about kids go to the games. Uh, they don't often get to see their players close up. And I think they wanted to take that and bring it to the kids, to the fans, to the collectors that go to the games and that are fans of baseball. You know, when it started, obviously gum was included and I think, you know, the trading cards kind of went along with the gum to sell the gum. The gum turned out mediocre at best and I think the interest got more into the cards than the gum. And it was a, a set that was seven series and now we're cut down to three series, but we have larger sets. So it's a little different, but the flagship Topps brand is still the main brand. It's the first release of the season and it's what everybody anticipates. This year, I think we focused on cleanliness. Topps pretty much was famous for having a white border. In the past, I don't know, maybe four or five years, we tried to stray away from that and give big action photos that bled off the edge of the card and were full-size action. Again, the focus was bringing more of the game, more of the player to the fans. And so with that in mind, this year, we've gone back to pretty much a white, pristine border. The 2022 design is, in my mind, if I had to characterize it, super clean, super clean. As people think about players and their career, almost all the time, their rookie card is the most valuable card and is the one that kind of comes to mind. So you really want that whole card 
to be iconic and synonymous with that player and that player's career. Good are rolling? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, roll it down. Start now. Hi, I'm Kyle Maslin. I was the editor for 2021 and 2022 Series 1, and I'm now an assistant brand manager here at Tops. Series 1 and anything within our flagship product, images are of prime importance just because the product's going to be seen everywhere. You know, if it's in Series 1, it's probably an opening day. It's going to be in Tops Chrome. It's going to be in Tops Chrome Sapphire. It's going to be in Tops Holiday, you know, 10 months from now. As well as if the player becomes a superstar, their Tops card, especially their rookie card, is really going to become iconic. You know, in 2022 Series 1, Wander Franco is the rookie card. And every collector who loves Franco and loves baseball will be happy to own the Wander Franco Tops flagship rookie card. Franco is a unique timeline. That was our card to debut this year's flagship design. Basically, the day after his debut, we wanted to show what his card would look like. Sometimes, depending on the player's health and availability, you might have months of images to work with. With Franco, we had one game. And in that one game, he happened to be electric. He had a home run. In that first game, I believe it was the second at bat, he had the home run over left field fence. And he had an iconic shot when he was running down the first baseline, looking at the dugout and pounding his chest and just the emotion and joy that he had just screamed, this is who this player is, and there's nothing better to capture in a rookie card and a flagship card than the essence of a player and the essence of the sport. So as soon as I saw it, it really just screamed, this is the shot for the Wander Franco card. 2021 obviously captured a very unique state of sports, you know, with no fans in the stands. One of the great days, I think, from our end was seeing fans back in the stands this season. And, you know, it brings extra life to the images. So that, I think, makes the imagery looking just extra special. Additionally, you know, just always better to embrace achievements and milestones with other people in person. And being able to be with people here at Tops and at home and being able to open that product with them. Um, and we're going to make sure that flagship is continually evolving and that our flagship product maintains representative of baseball and is the best version of Topps Baseball. My name is Colin Butler and I'm the assistant brand manager on Top Series 1 Baseball. First of all, it's just exciting to see the team back together. We've uh, all been remote for so long and to be in person, actually seeing the product live, opening the packs, and that's what cards is. It's physical, it's tactile, like you want to show off the cards, you want to open the packs with your friends. It's kind of a, a feeling that can't be beat unless you're in person and sharing the moment with your friends and fellow collectors as well. Absolutely psyched, uh, excited to see Ryan Sandberg. We have a big element in the product, that's the 1987 throwback set. I know Cubs fans will be psyched. Someone who's been around the game that has that perspective. And I think it's gonna be great. I mean, collectors, fans, you know, everyone that comes tonight was just gonna be psyched to open the product. You know, it's a full year in the making. As soon as Series 1's released, we're already starting to kind of get the plans in motion for the next year. And when I think about the release date finally coming, I just think about how many groups all come together to make the product and to finally get it ready to street and out the door. And from my point of view, it's just to put the best checklist out there and then to see it all come together and to open the packs and get that rush and get that excitement. That's everything. It just really sets the tone, which is pretty exciting.
The base set will include uh, some veterans like Shohei Otani, Ronald Acuna Jr., Aaron Judge, Xander Bogarts, Mookie Betts, Jacob deGrom, and uh, Clayton Kershaw. Notable rookies in the Series 1 base include, obviously, Wander Franco, Jaron Duran, Brandon Marsh, Vidal Brujan, Luis Gill, Reed Detmers, and Matt Manning. Collectors can find autographs and or game used memorabilia cards from players like Otani, Devers, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Mike Trout, Fernando Tatis Jr., Juan Soto, and Freddie Freeman. Rookies include Franco, Duran, Marsh, Gill, and Detmers, and some retired greats who will be in these auto or memorabilia cards uh, include Johnny Bench, Derek Jeter, Ricky Henderson, and Frank Thomas.